Yehovah, please fill me with the Ruach HaKodesh, that I may speak your written words with boldness to those who listen. I ask all these things in Yeshua HaMashiach's name, Amen. We'll start with the Shema, listen and obey. Children of Yehovah, pay careful attention and respond. Yehovah is our power and authority. Yehovah works in unity with himself. And you shall act upon your love to Yehovah with your power and authority, with your thoughts and mind, with your entire body, and with all the muchness that you have. Yod, hey, vav, hey. Hand, behold, nail, behold. Genesis chapter 14. When Amraphiel was king of Shinar, Aryokach, king of Elessar, Kedalo Omar, king of Elam, and Tidal, king of Goyim, they made war against Bera, king of Saddam, and against Bersha, king of Amora, Shanav, king of Adma, Shemever, king of Zvoim, and king of Bela, which is the same as Zoar. All the latter kings joined forces in the Siddim Valley, where the Dead Sea is. They had served Kadila Omar twelve years, but in the thirteenth year they rebelled. In the fourteenth year, Kadila Omar and the kings with him came and defeated Raphiam and Ashtaroth, Kanarim and Zuzim and Ham, and Emim in Shiva, Karyatim, and Hori at Seir, their mountain, all the way to El Paran by the desert. Next, they turned back, came to En Mishpat, which is the same as Kadesh, and defeated all the country of the Emiliki, and also the Emery, who lived in Hatzzon Tamar. Then the kings of Saddam and Amora, Adma, Zvoim, and Bela, that is Zoar, came out and arrayed themselves for battle in the Saddam Valley against Kadila Omar, king of Elam, Tidal, king of Goyim, Ephraim, Amraphel, king of Adma, and Aryoch, king of Elessar, four kings against five. Now the Siddim Valley was full of clay pits, and when the kings of Saddam and Amora fled, some fell into them, while the rest fled to the hills. The victors took all they left. They took Lot, Abram's brother's son, and his possessions since he was living in Saddam. Someone who had escaped came and told Abram, the Hebrew, who was living by the Oaks of Memory, the Emery brother of Eshol, and brother of Enir, all of them allies of Avram. When Avram heard that his nephew had been taken captive, he let out his trained men, who had been born in his house, 318 of them, and went in pursuit as far as Dan. During the night, he and his servants divided his forces against them, then attacked and pursued them all the way to Hova, north of Damascus. Damascus. He recovered all the goods and brought back his nephew Lot with his goods, together with the women and the other people. After his return from slaughtering Kadila Omar and the kings with him, the king of Saddam went out to meet him in the Shiva Valley, also known as the King's Valley. Melchizedek, Melchizedek, king of Shalem, brought out bread and wine. He was Kohen of El Elyon, God Most High. So he blessed him with these words. Blessed be Avram by El Elyon, maker of heaven and earth. And blessed be El Elyon who handed your enemies over to you. Avram gave him a tenth of everything. The king of Saddam said to Avram, Give me the people and keep the goods for yourself. But Avram answered the king of Saddam, I have raised my hand in an oath to Jehovah El Elyon, maker of heaven and earth, that I will not take so much as a thread or a sandal thong of anything that is yours, so that you won't be able to say, I've made Avram rich. I will take only what my troops have eaten and the share of spoil belonging to the men who came with me, 
Anir, Eshkol, Memory, let them have their share. How can we learn to love our Creator after this short war chapter? Genesis 15. We can trust that Yehovah El Elyon, maker of heaven and earth, is on your side no matter if all the kings of the earth are united and are your enemy, the victory will be yours. Know that Melchizedek is the first Kohen of El Elyon mentioned in the word of Jehovah. Know this is the first time we see a tenth given. Pray that the maker of heaven and earth bless you financially and not by means of men. How can we love others as Yeshua loves us? We can give your tenth to the Kohen who feeds you the word of Jehovah. How can we bear one another's burdens? We can demonstrate to others that help comes from Jehovah, maker of heaven and earth. Produce spiritual fruit, love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, humility, and self-control. Then we have a blessing here. You just fill in the blank. Blessed be my mother by El Elyon, maker of heaven and earth. Blessed be El Elyon, who handed your enemies over to you. How timely that is for her in her time of need. And with the Arianic blessing, Yehovah will kneel before you presenting gifts, and he will guard you with a hedge of protection. Yehovah will illuminate the wholeness of his being towards you, bringing order. And he will provide you with love, sustenance, and friendship. Yehovah will lift up the wholeness of his being and look upon you and will set in place all you need to be whole and complete. 